body flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic? Dude, it's in my map. How is everybody? Yo, it's Santa Claus. Oh my god. How is everybody doing on this fantastic Friday? I'm late as Oh, we're doing a tier list today. Rate the Santa suit. They gave me this dumb We have a much anticipated milk tier list and a cookie tier list okay i have 17 different milks as you can see behind me and i have 17 different cookies don't ask me why that was the number that was how many different milks they had and i was like i'm just gonna match that number with the cookies and so that's exactly what i f did uh i have a bunch of different milks uh you'll see them soon enough uh we have the tried and true one percent two percent whole milk, uh, a bunch of Nesquix, chocolate, strawberry. We have some eggnogs, uh, which I don't even know if that classifies as, is eggnog milk? Even if eggnog isn't milk, it's still on the damn tier list, bro. I don't give a shit. It's a fucking, it's a fucking thing, right, that is here on Christmas. It's a Christmas drink. I would say it counts as milk, even if it's like egg based. Uh, then we have oat milk, soy milk, almond milk variations, coconut milk, butter milk, uh, and then the lactose free milk whatever the fuck that is uh and then we have cookies where we have like just chocolate chip oatmeal milano uh spiced wafers lemon cookies m m cookies biscotti chips ahoy different variations of that nutter butters peanut butter cookies two different oreos a lot of people are gonna sit here and say oh joe why didn't you um do uh, uh, different oreos there's so many different oreos you could have done because uh, uh, santa ain't eating fucking birthday cake cookies okay santa isn't eating the mint chocolate chocolate chip fucking Oreo flavors, okay? That's why I didn't choose that shit. I tried, they're cold, all right, for everybody about to ask me if I'm drinking some warm ass milk, no. However, nearing the end of the list, they're probably gonna start being a bit warm. But starting off, we have 1% milk. Also, do not worry about me wasting anything. All the cookies I will be giving to my friends during a, like, friend miss that I'm having in like a week. And all the milks, I will probably be doing the same. Uh, and no, the milk won't go bad milk doesn't go bad that fast. Do you think I'm gonna shit myself after this? I, I don't know. What percentage of milk do you guys drink? Like, what percent of milk did you drink growing up or still drink today? I drink one or drank one percent. A lot of people drank two. For the psychopaths that are saying whole milk, you're fucking weird. Okay, I'll have my opinion on whole milk in just a second. 1% milk, the tried and true. It's not the best thing I've ever had, right? I might like 2% more but growing up with one percent milk it goes good with anything i've never i've never had one percent milk in a certain cereal and been like "Ooh, this tastes off uh i've never been like "Ooh, i don't like this one percent milk one percent milk always does well i'm gonna slot it a tier kind of a, i don't know i might bring it down after we try everything I do think that 1% milk deserves at least be a little, a little fattier. I would say most people like 2% more than 1%. I think most people just drink 1% because it's healthier. Let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Where's breast milk? Buddy. Uh, 2% is creamier. Like, noticeably creamier. Which is good. Uh, I think- I think 1% is literally just the watered-down version of 2%. I would rank this higher, but I could see some scenarios where 2% is starting to taste kind of like whole milk. And I really- I don't know. I haven't had whole milk in a while. We're gonna get to the whole milk. 2% is better than 1%. Where are y'all putting 2%? It's better than 1%. A. Whole milk. I, I have never, I've never been a kid growing up that drank whole milk, right? Uh, maybe when I was like an infant or a toddler or something, when you kind of graduate from the breast milk, uh, you kind of move on to the fattier, the fattyish whole milk. But, um, I never really drank whole milk. It's too much it's too much i know a lot of people are gonna say whole milk is my go-to shit it's too much i'm probably gonna put whole milk in in c it's middle of the road right it's not bad right if if somebody gives me whole milk i'm not gonna fucking bitch about it nesquik 
strawberry. This also is like, I don't know. I don't know if this is a special Nesquik, but it has 14 grams of protein per bottle. Uh, I don't know if that's going to affect any of the taste that we're going to be seeing from this, but keep in mind that this is like protein milk, I guess. It doesn't even taste like, like, it's good. It doesn't taste like milk. Like, it's, it, 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 ugh. I don't know. It's all, like, hey, hey, and this isn't a factor into this, right? This is not a factor into the rating here. But one bottle of Nesquik strawberry milk has 38 grams of sugar. That's as much as a soda. I'm, I'll, I'll put it C tier. I'll put it the same as whole milk. That's quick chocolate. Just cause I already know, I already know it's gonna be good, right? So I'm already kind of jumping ahead and thinking of where I'm gonna put it. Uh, but Nest Quick Chocolate is fucking amazing, right? As unhealthy, uh, actually more unhealthy, 39 grams of sugar in this one, but we're not rating off of that. Great smell. Chocolatey. Chocolate is my favorite flavor of ice cream. Chocolate is my favorite variation of milk. It's so good. It's like, dude, oh, the straw. It's everything corrected where the strawberry milk went wrong. I would say it's the best thing we've had thus far. Nesquik, S. Next one, we actually have the different variation of chocolate and strawberry. We have Fairlife chocolate milk, which I haven't had, yet a lot of people told me I needed to get for this tier list because it was quote unquote fire. Hold up. Yo, I know motherfuckers are gonna say don't even. It's better. It's better. Dude, it's more chocolatey. It's more chocolatey. Bro, how the fuck is it more chocolatey than Nesquik chocolate? And it has one third the amount of sugar. That makes no sense. I might throw Nesquik A. We gotta move it down. We can't have we can't have both chocolate milks in S, right? If one's better than the other, they can't both be S. Bro, the fair life is better. And I know I'm gonna piss people off with saying that. But it's 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 genuinely more chocolatey. Ever the fuck this is. You ever read a brand like this? This just looks weird. Hold on. Promise land strawberry whole milk. <laughs> I'm not even fake gagging, dude. That's fucking dis- Oh my god, and I'm gagging at this. This is gonna be terrible news for when we get to the fucking buttermilk and shit. Strawberry whole milk. Oh my god. I don't like it. Yo, that's D. It's worse than the Nesquik strawberry. I, this is gonna be a first try. I've had- I've had almond milk. I've had soy milk. I drink- I drink soy milk. I drink almond milk every once in a while. I've never had oat, up, at least to my knowledge. Unless that, like, I was drinking it. I didn't even know I was drinking oat milk. But I've never had oat milk. I mean, I like oats. I don't- I don't perceive myself disliking this. Yo. Bro, I drank soy milk this morning. Yo, I drank soy milk this morning. It's so strong. It is such a strong. It's it's oat heavy. <coughs> oh my god. It tastes if you've never had oat milk. To me, in the way that I'm trying it, it tastes like if somebody kind of like soaked oats in water and just kind of like mushed them like for, that's what it is, right? <laughs> that's probably what it is. So unenjoyable, I'd still rather drink that shit than that strawberry asshole milk. That's the red silk milk. I think that's soy. Soy milk, I think, gets the most hate. It has a bad aftertaste, right? Soy milk has a bad aftertaste. It's much more subtle. It's much more subtle. I'm going to pause the music for this. It's much more subtle than the oat milk, right? It's the same thing as the oat milk. It's got, it's like, like here, if you've never had plant-based milk or things that isn't just like dairy, they're basically just kind of creamy water with like a, a weird taste, right? Oat milks was too heavy. This is kind of more on the back end where I just get a, I get an odd in the back of my throat, right? That's It makes me want to make that face. I would still say it's better than the strawberry Nesquik, though. I would put it in C. Yo, I'm sweating my ass off here. We actually have uh, the vanilla version of the soy, right? So this is flavored. A little more unhealthy. They probably put some artificial sugars and stuff in this, but that's not what we're rating it off of. Uh, original soy is going to be C tier, kind of middle of the road. Uh, better than Nesquik. I can't even fucking open this shit. 
it just masks it masks the aftertaste right that's what it make it's better like it, it is better it just masks the aftertaste of of the that fucking that face you want to make like a fucking what, what what's the one of those mario characters that's like brown and they're like really short and you step on them it makes you want to make a goomba face no the oat milk makes me want to make a goomba face this aftertaste makes me want to go the vanilla masks that, and so you kind of just have a sweeter soy milk. That is, it's pretty similar to, like, 1% milk, right? It's kind of light. Uh, it doesn't have the bad aftertaste. I would put it be almond milk. Unsweetened almond milk. Unsweetened. Zero grams of sugar. 30 calories. It's just, dude, it's, it's so, I gotta pause the music for this. It's so nothing. It's so nothing, and the something that it is, is just faint almond water. It's almond water. Like, the oat wa like, oats match the water better, even though they're both fucking bad. Dude, this is F tier. Dark chocolate almond milk. A hundred calories a serving. So that means there's actually substance here, comparable to the last one. Uh, I've had chocolate almond milk. I don't know if I've had dark chocolate almond milk, uh, but I have had flavored almond milk before, and it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it, it's not. It. I, I just taste chocolate. It, I just taste chocolate. It has an almondy aftertaste, but, like, this shit's good. Like, the, I've had, I've bought this before. This is good. Like, Santa would fuck with this, right? And I would say it's as good as the vanilla soy, because it masks every, every issue with the regular soy was masked by the vanilla. And it's the same thing with the dark chocolate almond. How the fuck do you take the lactose out of milk? I've never had this. I don't want to drink this. I don't want to drink this. Dude, it reeks. Dude, it reeks. It tastes like milk. Why does it smell so bad? Dude, it's fucking reeks. Tastes like milk. I don't... How? That makes no fucking sense. I would say I'm going to put it C tier. I'll put... Yo, would I drink this uh, before I would drink the Nesquik strawberry? I... Yo, dude, and the after smell in my mouth too. Like, this is why I need the cleanser. Because, like, it smells weird. But, like, the taste is fine. You're smelling the preservatives in it. I don't know. Maybe. Dude, I would drink I would drink it over the, I would drink it over the fucking strawberry milk. Have y'all ever had this? I don't even know what this is. Is this drinkable buttermilk? Cultured buttermilk. What is buttermilk? It's for cooking? Dude, why was it in the milk aisle? <laughs> why was it? Should I still try it? I didn't even read the side. Dude. I'm gonna try it. I gotta play. I gotta play motivational music. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. What? Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! I'm not gonna smell it. If I smell it, it's gonna be way worse. Some people dream of success. I'm not gonna hold my nose. I'm not a bitch. Work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point or anyone else would quit, and you're not gonna stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just... It's so thick. It's so thick. It's so thick. Dude, I'm about to shit myself, too. I feel the poop come. Yo, fuck buttermilk. That shit's ass. Now we're on the final three. We have coconut milk, original eggnog, and I think vanilla eggnog. You're not 21. How can you drink eggnog? <laughs> Yo, you just, you actually... Yo, eggnog don't have alcohol in it. There's ice in it. How the fuck? Fuck! How the f yo hold the fuck up barbecue? I got my hand, I got my, I got my finger down a fucking coconut milk uh, cart. When you're when you're facing an opponent, when you're facing an opponent, first you're gonna shake their hand, right? I can't shake Bob's hand because he has no arms. You're gonna shake their hand, maybe give them an elbow bump, shoulder bump, or something like that. You're gonna shake their hand. That's getting ready for the fight. Maybe a hug, and then. Get them riled up. You hit them with a two ear slap. Then you go. The one inch punch. All right, we're back onto the coconut milk. Gotta review this shit. 
Now. 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 Southern Comforts. Traditional eggnog. It's good as fuck. Very thick, right? Eggnog's very thick, very creamy, sweet, yet like it has a little bit of a spice to it, like a Christmassy spice to it. S. This is the vanilla one, which means it must have more flavor and be even better. Yeah, this is like the classic eggnog. I feel like this is, even though this isn't the original, I feel like this is the eggnog that most people actually drink, like on Christmas Eve or Christmas. I would, a I, I'm actually going to swap them. I'm going to do that. All right. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair list. Having chocolate, Fairlife chocolate milk and the, van and the vanilla eggnog actually in S. Nest quick chocolate, 2% and regular eggnog in A. 1% vanilla soy chocolate almond in B. Whole milk, soy milk, the disgusting ass smelling fat free milk in strawberry Nest quick in C. Oatly in D. Uh, e is that whole milk strawberry and F tier is the shitty ass unsweetened almond milk buttermilk, and coconut. I feel like we just kind of reach and go. Off rip, Oreos. Should I eat the whole cookie? I feel like that was a bad play. Because if I eat the whole cookie for each one, that's going to be a major problem. Original Oreos, I would put B, right? I'm not ranking them off of what cookie Santa would like best. I'm ranking them off of what I like best. The reason I'm putting them B is generally because they're just kind of... They're not bland. Like, they're good-ass cookies. There's nothing special about them. Like, we could compare them to the vanilla cookies when we get there. Uh, and I think there are a lot of variations of Oreos that are better. But I would kind of say most... I would say most of you would agree that regular Oreos are not the best Oreos. Oh, we got a big one here. What the fuck is this? Double nutties? Double nutty? Nutter butter double nutty? My favorite. I, okay, realistically, this is not a cookie you would probably give to Santa Claus, as are most of these, but I was just trying to find, like, a broad range of different cookie flavors uh, and types, and Nutter Butters are kind of on their own realm in the sense that nobody really copies them. Creamy, let me give it a little snap for you guys. Oh my god. Double Nutty, where are you? S tier. We're starting off with... We're starting off with a fucking hard take here. Chips Ahoy! How do y'all know my favorite cookie is Chips Ahoy? I think they give you a good amount of chocolate chips. I love them. I love them. Oh my god. And I don't like chewy cookies. I think they're a classic. I'm gonna put them in S as well, right? I don't think I'm gonna have really any big F tiers here. Going on to the next one. Chips Ahoy. Focus focus. Chips Ahoy Chewy. Chips Ahoy Chewy, a lot of people love much more than the regular Chips Ahoy. Not even like a good Chewy. It's a chemical Chewy. Like, I still fuck with them. I'm not gonna deny a Chewy fucking Chips Ahoy, right? But they are nowhere near as good as the regular ones. I would still put them B. What do we have here? Possibly a special one. Is it gonna fucking focus? Keebler Elf. I would beat the shit out of that guy, by the way. I would curb stomp the shit out of the Keebler, Keebler Elf. A bit lackluster, right? They ain't looking... That's not that, right? It's close, but that's not that. Very crunchy. More crunchy than the regular Chips Ahoy. A very hard cookie. They don't have that much taste. I very much like the crunch. I think they're better than the Chips Ahoy Chewy, and I don't want to... I, I want to put them A, and hey, I'm going to do that, okay? I know I'm just going back on what I just said and saying they're equal to Oreos. They're not, okay? They're they're worse. Alvin's Lemon Snaps. I've never even had these, but they were all over the fucking shelf, and it tastes like a lemon. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Do they look like Nella Wafers? Who the fuck? I didn't include Nilla Wafers, by the way, because they ain't even a damn cookie. They're a wafer. I understand these are snaps, but they're like a holiday-based cookie. Yo, fuck Ivan's goddamn lemon snap. Dewey's peanut butter cookies. The only other peanut butter cookie on this list today, uh, other than the Nutter Butters. They're mid. They're C. I'll eat them, right? Like, I'd eat the chewy. Actually, they're D. Actually, they're D. 
Because I'd, I'd rather eat the chewy. I'd rather eat the chewy chips ahoy. I think the peanut butter taste is pretty fucking good. But they're very thin, but they're a bad thin cookie. I don't think... I think a thin cookie should be a chocolate chip cookie. I don't think you should make thin peanut butter cookies. Vanilla Oreos. The golden Oreo. Where are y'all putting this? They're worse than I remember. I don't know why I'm hyping. I, I hyped them up so much. They're worse than I remember. They're worse than I remember. I don't know. It doesn't remind me of when I threw up. But like, oh God. They were like almost too sweet. It was still bad. I think it was still... Ooh, was it better than the regular Oreo? No, it wasn't better than the regular Oreo. Oh my God, I thought it was better than the regular... I'm having I'm having a life-changing decision right now, Chad. I was, I was ready to throw that in A. There was no way I would ever put that in S, even if it met the expectations that I had. But like, bro, they're worse than the... I, I mean, I'll still put them B. They're still good as fuck. I'm gonna... Oh God, I would rather have the Chewy though. I'm gonna put them below that. I don't even know what the fuck these are. Shortbread rounds, another old people thing. They smell fine. They kind of smell... I feel like they're old people shit just by looking at them. They also... Pres they look like they have no taste. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if my prediction is correct. Yeah. Don't dish shortbread rounds like that, bro. They're buttery. They're buttery. F! 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 Dude, it reminds me of those shitty sugar cookies you would make as a kid, and you had those, like, cookie cutters of, like, a tree and shit, but, like, worse. Like, no flavor, just butter. Genuine, I would rather have the lemon snaps. I would rather have a lemon-flavored cookie. Even though lemon-flavored cookies make no sense to me, the shortbread rounds, they're so big. They're dry, and when you bite into them, they're, like, buttery, but, like, a bad buttery. Not, like, a Popeye's biscuit buttery. Like, a fucking I slathered your cookie and butter buttery. Next one we have... I thought these were biscotti. They're biscotti. They give you these, um, at airports. They're like Scooby- You ever have Scooby Snacks? The little dog treats? The dog treat Scooby Snacks? That's what they are. In all honesty, they're good. They're- They're like Scooby Snacks. Maybe a little less sweet. I would probably still put them C tier. Like, I wouldn't- I- 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 That was the first time I ever bought them. Uh, I've eaten them hundreds of- Not hundreds of times. I've eaten them tens of times, right? But every time I eat them, it's when I get them on a flight, right? It's not- It's- I- I never go out and purchase- uh, a fucking biscotti or whatever the fuck it's called. Spiced wafers. These are my girlfriend's favorite cookie. Uh, a lot of people live by these spi spiced wafers. Uh, they come in these big ass fucking packages. And they're basically just these really hard cookies, uh, that smell like gingerbread, uh, and are not spicy, but they're just spiced. Like, like they snap in half. They're good. They're not my style. Where would you guys put them? I don't even know where I want to put spice wafers. I don't think- Ooh, are they- They're as good as Dewey's. They're as good as the Dewey's peanut butter. They're not- They're not bad, right? They're good-ass cookies. Or not- They're not good-ass cookies because I'm putting them in D. They're not bad, right? It's very hard to make a shitty cookie, right? The only- uh, Oh, God, are the lemon snaps better than- than them? No, I would rather have them. These are fire as all shit. If you've never had these, thin chocolate chip cookies are so fucking good. They sell them at, e even if you've never had this brand, right? They come in these little, like, little slots. Look how thin they are. Paper thin, right? Like, they, they, they just fucking pancaked them on a rack and cooked them. They're so thin, they have to protect them because they're gonna fucking break otherwise. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Amazing. There was one day where I ate an entire box of them in like two hours. Because the chocolate chips, they're chocolating, right? They're good as fuck. And then it's just like the thin-ass cookie kind of complements it. It's just a nice mouthfeel. Yes. All the pepperage flavors left. We still have oatmeal chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin. We have milk chocolate. We have a regular chocolate chip cookie, which we probably should have started with. And then we have the fudge strips. All right, motherfuckers, what the fudge strip? Oh, dude, they give you dipping. They give you icing dip. It's still the regular cookies, just mini. And then they give you icing to dip it in. I have never liked fudge strips. And I'm going to piss you guys off by saying that. They have no, they have, they give, it's just too much give, right? They're not chewy and they're not crunchy. Do you know what I mean? 
They like smush. I don't like it. I like the taste. I just think the texture is really bad. I'll still put them C because I would have them over the fucking uh, Ivan's uh, spiced wafers and the Dewey shit. Actually, would I have them over the Dewey's? They're going D. They're going D. Milano cookies. Milk chocolate. I've eaten hundreds of bags of these. They come in these little fucking containers. I love it. Let me show, let me show you guys. I don't think, I've never met somebody that doesn't like these. They come in these little pouches, right? And here's the issue, is they come in this pouch and in a pouch there's five, but a serving size is three. Maybe make the pouch the serving size, dickhead. And they got a good crunch. They fall. It's where the fudge strips went wrong. They fixed it. I'd say they're a bit bland to have an S tier. I'll put them A. Oatmeal milk chocolate. Another one. I don't even know if these are going to be crunchy or soft. I've never had the oatmeal milk chocolate, though. This is kind of a more classic fucking Christmas Santa-esque cookie that you would probably do. I just ripped the shit out of that bag, but who gives a fuck? I don't even taste the oatmeal. I think... If you're gonna make an oatmeal cookie, do oatmeal raisin. It's kind of the best match. I think having an oatmeal milk chocolate is just kind of weird. It's good, but it's like, if you're gonna have a chocolate chip cookie, just have a regular chocolate chip cookie. If I'm gonna have an oatmeal cookie, give me an oatmeal raisin. It, I would still buy it. I would still buy the cookie. If I, if, if I was feeling it, I would still buy the cookie. Uh, they're C tier. Right? They're not bad, but they're not great. Let's actually compare the oatmeal raisin to it. Same company, Pepperidge Farms or whatever. It's better. Not much better. I wouldn't say an oatmeal cookie would ever be in contention for the best, but it's B tier. We're on to the last cookie, which the one that we probably should have started with, but equally as good to end with. A classic milk chocolate cookie. Mainly because of the chocolate. They put a lot of chocolate in that shit. Like, I would say, like, 40% of the cookie is fucking chocolate. I was gonna say A. I was gonna put it, I was gonna put it top of A. Because I would, I would say they're about as good, maybe a little bit better than the Chips Ahoy. But if they're a little bit better than Chips Ahoy, I think I gotta put the OG in S. That was a W list. That was a fun fucking stream. I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys, uh, doing the milk in the cookie tier list. I think the milk tier list was a bit more scary. And the fact that things tasted fucking terrible. However, I will say that generally speaking, both were fun.